There's a degree of hyperbole or exaggeration maybe when you talk about America as being a dystopia, which means an anti-utopia, like a nightmarish version of science fiction reality. What I'm talking about is the decay of the country over the past several decades as a nation state and the way it has started to resemble what you saw in George Orwell's 1984 where there's this high security state, partly because the tools have finally caught up to the kind of thing that Orwell was imagining where it's possible for the government to keep track of all citizens at all times. And the other side of it, the other famous book from even earlier was A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley in which he talks about this kind of consumerist wonderland where everything is provided for you and you're entertained all the time and nobody thinks about things. And there's an element of that in America today too. And that brings me up closer to the present day to what the Wachowski siblings were talking about in The Matrix, the idea that what we see around us as reality may not really be what we think it is. The society that we think is a certain way, that we think is based on democracy and transparency and these ideas about freedom, to a large extent those are ideas. We don't know what they mean anymore. The things that we've done around the world don't feel like the things that a, that a democratic society or a society based on freedom would be doing. Orwell was also pointing the way forward to, uh, to the what's called the post-apocalyptic dystopia, which we saw recently in The Hunger Games, where something really terrible has happened. We don't know what. Uh, technologies have been rolled back to a significant extent. Civilization has been rolled back. I think we're all afraid that society could be trending that way. That something, whether it's environmental disaster or rather than nuclear war, seems to be the thing that we're the most worried about now, is going to undo a lot of the things we've done by way of civilization. I tend to hold out some hope in this situation. I was born in the 1960s during the Civil Rights Movement when there was a tremendous discord in the society. The Vietnam era, race relations were terrible, there was violence in the streets, all kinds of things going on. We live in a much more harmonious and tolerant society today. But politically it doesn't work at all. And I think that the possibility for change is there. You know, the thing that Barack Obama was elected talking about. Change has come to America. He hasn't been able to deliver it. It isn't about one guy coming into power and fixing everything. The force for change in this society still lies in the people, still lies in the amount of change that we've seen on the ground in America in the last 40 or 50 years. It doesn't have to be this way. We don't have to have the government spying on us all the time. We don't have to have overseas wars that we're not in control of that are just ruining our reputation. Other paths are possible and we need to be clear about that.